Hey everyone, this is Sam, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to focus on Tiny Tina's Wonderland. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the best guns and spells you can use with the Spell Shot class, especially early in the game so you can create dominating offense like you see here with the interesting new spell weaving feature. But at the same time, as you do damage, you'll also be very hard to kill. I guarantee that by the end of this video, you're going to have one of the best setups for early game in Tiny Tina's Wonderland, especially with the Spell Shot class. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider liking it and also subscribing to the channel. If you would like to see more RPGs and uh, Tiny Tina Wonderland content from us, you can click on the playlist below or above and you'll find all the videos we've been working on all year long. So these weapons and spell setup is meant for the Spell Shot class using the spell weaving class feed and also the MP Hextress action skills. And in regards to your hero stats, you want to jack up your intelligence as high as possible initially so you can get that spell cooldown so you can abuse spell weaving. Now what spell weaving does is every time you cast a spell or reload, you will get a stack of spell weave which is going to give you uh, extra spell damage and it stacks up to 5 times. But because you also get the spell weaving for reloading, in terms of your weapons, you want to choose close range to mid range weapons that has very low reload time, as you can see from my pistol and shotgun here, with both of them under 1.3 seconds for reloading. Now, this is big because with the spell shot class, you can also get the magic bullet skill, which is going to give you a portion of your spell damage buff. So, as you buff your spell weaving, your guns also become more powerful. And you can see with a quick reloading gun like this, I can get to 5 stacks, which is the max initially when you start off by default, extremely quickly in under 10 seconds while I'm reloading my gun. So there's great synergy between shooting your gun, reloading, and casting spells. Now, in regard to getting the most by casting though, you want to get to the Empire Hextress action skill when you get to level 7, so you can cast 2 spells whenever you want. And the 2 spells types you want to equip is these uh, low cooldown spells, nothing higher than 17 and make sure you get health back with damage so the special talents is good and also the bursting magic barrage of light so any kind of spells that does rangy damage but it gives you health back so when that setup is done right you can see me do both guns and spells in action here together so i start out with uh casting the talent the ego and that's got a decent amount of range and it also hits for twice and it does its own tracking so i just gotta cast it forget it and it's good to go now with the shotgun, you can see as I reload, if you see below my level bar, I have 8 stacks of uh, spell weave right now. And I can keep it up there the whole time because every time I cast a spell or I reload my gun, I get it. I get extra damage for gun and spells. And here I'm casting the barrage of light. And this one's also got excellent range and it hits multiple targets. So the synergy between the ego, the barrage of light, and the fact that every time I shoot the shotgun once, I automatically reload. You can see I'm never lower than 8 stacks of spell weave. And because spell weave can give me spell damage and it also gives me gun damage, the synergy here is flawless. And I'm pretty much taking no damage. And all of my spells give me health back. So I'm constantly gaining health back if I need it as I cast quicker, shoot and reload. And this is crazy flow. Now you can also see my shield never went down during that sequence. This is because you can also get mage armor. And essentially every single time you stack a spell weave, you get 10% of your shield back or your ward back. So here you can see I have no spells. I'm essentially just shooting my shotgun, reloading each time. But each time I reload, I'm getting 10% ward back. And when I cast a spell, the same thing happens. I also get 10% ward. So essentially all of the offense kind of synergizes back to defense with ward. And all of my spells not only hurt my opponent, gives me back ward, it also gives me back health. So everything I do is kind of like a two-way kind of setup and it's just very good gameplay. And obviously because of that setup, you want a shield that has incredibly high capacity and also something that gives you a bonus as your ward is full, because you're going to be topped off plenty. Now in regards to your armor, you want to get some that gives you either more extra skills in terms of reloading or the one that you see on the left here. That one is the one that gives me extra spell weave stacks. So here the reload one is pretty significant. Even with two levels, I get 24% plus speed. But with the uh, high threat count, I get three extra stacks of spell weave. So that's extremely useful. So I can go all the way up to eight. A melee weapon is not going to be too big for you. But you can focus on any that gives you a spell cooldown as your melee. So this one's 3%. When everything is put together, you're going to start out the fight just casting your spells freely, shooting your guns, and make sure you reload quickly. Because the reloads are all less than, you know, they're all one second really for both weapons. 
So just as you shoot, if you're running away or you're dodging, shoot and reload, shoot and reload to get your spell weave up to 8. You can see me here under the level bar, I have the spell weaving at level 8. And at this point, no matter what happens, I'm just incredibly hard to kill off. Because my spells give me health, my spells do damage, they got good range, they got good AoE. The shotgun obviously is high damage, but every shot is a reload, so that also adds up. This synergy and every game, the entire gameplay you see here is also on a intense difficulty. So this is the harder difficulty available in the game and just, you can't be killed. Now would you get pushed down to a little bit low health? Sure, but it is just incredibly hard to kill you when everything you do either gives you back shield, gives you back health, and it also does incredible damage while keeping you super safe. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this setup. And the rest of the video, I'm going to show you a couple of more gameplays with this. And because in terms of fighting style, this setup kind of forces you to fight either in close range or mid range. You won't be fighting in long range at all. Obviously, you're going to have the spells for that, but because you want to be reloading plenty, this is a very aggressive, high paced style of play. And for this game, right, especially Tiny Tina, it's incredibly fun to play this way. And the fact that usually when you play like this, there's a high risk factor of, you know, dying. But because of the setup with the spell shot, with the shield, and all the spells that takes health, you're going to be perfectly fine. And as you level up through this, you're pretty much going with the same fundamental setup. It's just obviously your guns are getting stronger, maybe your reloads are faster, or your gun is more damaging. But uh, make sure you aim everything for quick reload speed, uh, quick spell cooldowns, because you just want to be casting these things and reloading as quickly as possible. When you get it all down like this, you can tell I can just take everybody down. I have all of my resources with me, and I'm always safe. Uh, one key aspect about the spell weaving, you can see me here, I've just finished the fight, and I have 8 stacks, and obviously I'm not doing anything right now. I could reload just to bring it up, but I want to save ammo. But you can see, it takes the stacks a long time to get back down, because it doesn't go from 8 uh, all the way to 0 if you let the meter run out. It goes from 8 to 7 to 6. To five to four to three so it's relatively slow you can see even i'm just exploring here i'm still getting it back to five and i'm about to get into another fight and you'll see i'll get it all the way back up to eight incredibly fast and also while you're at eight if you, you obviously you cannot stack to nine but if you gain another spell weave it refreshes the eight you know clock you can look at that eight meter here it's just going to keep refreshing and as it does that it also stack it lets me get my shield back if I have any. It's not going to further stack the damage, but it still gives me plenty of shield and it keeps me topped off. So that's perfect synergy. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more Tiny Tina content, just subscribe. Make sure to come and check back often. And as always, thanks for coming by. And we look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.